Hello, yes, we're here. Hello, good morning, guys. Welcome to your next online video lesson with me, Teacher Morgan. And today it's Unit Five, Lesson Number Three. We're making good progress on Lesson on Unit Five. So let's go full screen, get into it. Now, as I say, oh yeah, hope you're all having a good day today. Just waiting for the screen to come back on, and then we'll get started. Ah, here we are. Okay, let's get started. Unit five, lesson number three. Now, as I say today, we're doing your workbook. So I hope you have your workbooks at home, because that is what we're going to do in today's lesson. We're going to quickly go over what we've been over in the first two lessons, and then we'll go over what I want you to do in the workbook. Okay. So without further ado, unit five is time. What is the time? What is the time? Okay, very quick. Your five times table. Let's see. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There is your five times table. You need to practice this. It will help you with your reading of the clock. Okay. So there's your five times table. There's the clock. Yes, when we're telling the time, we need to look at the clock. What does the clock say? Well, we need to look at, it, at its hands. It has a small hand and a big hand. There's the small hand. The small hand is the hours. Remember, small is for hours. Then we also have your big hand. Here's the big hand. The big hand is for your minutes. So small hours, big minutes. Now we also have your seconds, but you don't need to worry about your seconds. Just hours and minutes. Okay, what is the time? What time is it? What is the time? Do you know the time? Let's see. If anyone asks you for the time, you just need to tell them the hour and how many minutes. That's what they want to know. What is the hour? and how many minutes. That's what you need to tell them. What is the hour and how many minutes? Okay, so how do we do that? The hours, you look at the number on the clock. Okay, so these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12, they are your hours, okay? The hours are one to 12, okay? So there's your hours. What else do we need? We need your minutes. Okay, there's more minutes. You can see there's your minutes. Because the minutes, there are 60 minutes. There are 60 minutes on the clock. And remember, an easy way to remember is you just look at the number on the clock and he times it by five. For example, one times five is five. Two times five is 10. Three times five, 15. Four times five, 20. You see, it's just your five times table, like the start of the lesson. Okay, so back to our board. Remember, what is the time? We're looking for the hours and the minutes. Okay, so let's look at our clock very quickly. We'll go through this one again. So here we are, your hours and your minutes. So we want to find the hour first. So let's look at the small hand. Remember, the hour is the small hand. And the small hand here is pointing at 10. It's still in the 10 hour. So we say the hour is 10. Now, what's the minutes? So now we're looking for minutes. So the minutes, we need to look at the big hand. Okay, we go small, then big. And the big hand is pointing at 2, right? It's pointing at the 2. So 2 times 5. What is 2 times 5? It is 10 as well. So the time... Is 10 10. What's the time? The time is 10 10. Okay. Now remember why why do we times by five? Why do we times by five? It's because all of these little lines, that's one minute. Okay? So that's one minute. Then this one is two, then three, then four, and then five. So by when we get to the one. It's five minutes already, okay? And remember, one times five is five. So then we go to six and seven and eight and nine. And then when we get to the two, it's 10 because two times five is 10. 
So remember, each little section here is five minutes. Hanati. Okay, so here we are, the whole picture. Remember, remember, remember. What is the time? We're looking for the small hand for the hours, then the big hand for the minutes. And then for the minutes, you times by five, because each is this is your minute. Okay, hope you guys are okay with this. Oh, that four shouldn't be there. Okay, now I hope you guys remember. So what is the time? You just saw it. It is two, but why is it two? Why two? Why not three? Look, it's so close to three. Why not three? And it's because, oh, and then the minutes, big hand is at the 10, so that's 50, of course, 50 minutes. But why two? Why two? It's so close to three. And it's because all of this, all of that is the two. That's still two o'clock. Okay, it's not yet three, so it's still two. Here, here's three. Is this, a, what's this? Yes, here's three. There we go. So there's two all the way to three, and then it's three all the way to four, and then it's four all the way until five. Okay, so if it's even though it's so close to three, it's still not free. It's not yet free. Okay. Now let's do some practice very quickly before the workbook. Okay, what is the time? We, we know this one. 2.50, we just did that. Okay, so when you're writing it, you'd write two. That's how you spell two. T-W-O. And then 50. F-I-F-T-Y. 50. 2.50. What is the time? It's 2.50. Okay, next one. Okay, what is the time? What is the time? So first we look at the small hand. The small hand is here. Oh, it's so close to 10. It's so close. Climax, very close. It's not yet 10. It's still nine. Okay, it's still nine o'clock. And in how many minutes? We look at the big hand. Is that 11? So what is 11 times five? 11 times five is 55. Okay, so what is the time? So we say nine, N-I-N-E, nine. And then we write the minutes. How many minutes? 55. 50, then a little dash, five. 55. Okay. Okay, next one. Okay, what is the time? We need to look at the small hand. The small hand is pointing here. It's like right in the middle. Okay, so is it 11 or is it 12? Well, it's still in 11. It's not yet 12. It's halfway through 11. Okay, now, what is the minutes? How many minutes? If it points at 7, so think 7 times 5 is... It's a hard one. 35. 7 times 5 is 35. So that is 35 minutes. So the time is 11, E L E. V E N 11, then 35. So there's 30 if you're th, 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 30, then a little dash, f, 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 5, 35. Okay, next one. Oh, oh, I went too fast. Okay, what is the hour? We look at the small hand. The small hand is pointing here, so that is still one. We've just started one. And then the big hand is pointing at 2, so it's 2 times 5. What is 2 times 5? 2 times 5 is 10. So what is the time? You say it's 1, and then the number, then the minutes, 10. 1, 10. That's an easy one. 1, 10. Okay, any more? Yes. So, okay, this is important. Okay, you need to pay attention here. This is an important one. Okay, what is the time? What is the small hand? What is the hour? Let's look at it here. It's pointing at one. It's right at one. So yes, that's right. It is one. Now the minutes. The big hand is pointing at 12. How many minutes at 12? What is it? If it's at 12, how many minutes do you know? If the big hand's pointing at 12, it is zero minutes. No minutes. My me minutes. There is no minutes. Zero. Okay. So what do we say the time is? You say it's one. Do you say one zero? One zero? You don't say one zero. You say one o'clock. Oh, okay.
okay, I want you to remember this word. O apostrophe clock, like this. Is, there's, your, there's your clock, okay? O, O like zero, O, then a little apostrophe, and then you just spell clock, C-L-O-C-K, clock, O'clock. So what is the time? The time is one o'clock. Okay, next one. What is the time now? Okay, so the small hand's pointing at two, so it's two. Big hand's pointing at 12, so it's zero. So we say two. And what do we say if it's zero minutes? You say o'clock, o'clock. O, like zero, o'clock. Zero on the clock. Okay, next one. Oops. Oh, yeah. All right. Small hand is pointing at six. So we say the hour is six. Then the big hand is pointing at 12. And if it's pointing at 12, how many minutes? Zero minutes. So we say six. And if it's zero minutes, you don't say zero. You say o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay, one more. I think you get the picture. If you get the picture. The small hand is pointing at nine, so we put nine. Big hand pointing up at 12. And if it's pointing at 12, that means zero minutes. So we say nine, and then if it's zero minutes, what do we say? We say o'clock, nine o'clock. Okay, I hope you guys remember that, because I think it is time for your workbook. Here it is. Page 46 and 47. Okay, here it is. Okay, so there's 46 and here is page 47. These are your two pages. It's the first, it's lesson one from unit five. Okay, so let's go. So at section A, it's look and match. So what I want you to do is look at the time, the written time, and can you draw a line from the time to the clock, okay? So number one, what does this say? Number one is two o'clock, two o'clock. Can you see two o'clock? Where is two o'clock? Let me draw a line. There it is here. So I want you to draw a line from two o'clock to two o'clock. Okay, I think we can do one more. Oh, and there's two ten. Okay, so number two is two ten. Where is two ten? Here is two ten. So draw a line from the time to the clock. Okay, so that's activity A. Activity B. Okay, this is a bit more difficult. Activity B. You have to look at the numbers here on the clock. Then you have to write it in English, write the words in English here. Then you have to draw the hands on the clock. Okay. So what do we have here? We have five, zero, zero, five hours, zero minutes. So let's draw the small hand to five, five. And if it's zero minutes, where does this big hand go? The big hand goes up to 12. So that is five o'clock. And then you write five o'clock. Okay, next one. We have 9.15. 9.15. Gao sepa. Okay, so first things first, let's write it. Oh, no, no, first things first, let's put it on the clock. So small hand goes to nine. And then the big hand for 15 minutes, where does the big hand go for 15 minutes? It goes to three, doesn't it? There's 15 minutes. Okay, so it's nine, 15, okay? And now here, I want you to write it in English. So let's just write nine, N-I-N-E, 15, F-I-F-T-E-E-N, nine, 15. Okay, so that's activity B. Draw the clock, put the hands on the clock, and then write the time in English underneath. Okay, so that is activity B. Activity C, I want you to look at the clock and tick the time that matches it. 
Okay, so number one, look at the clock. Small hand is pointing at 10. Big hand is pointing at 12. What is the time? Is it it's 10 o'clock or it's 2 o'clock? Is it 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock? Well, look, the small hand is at 10. So it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. The time is 10 o'clock, not 2 o'clock. Okay, so can you do 2, 3 and 4 by yourself? That's activity C. Oh, uh, there you go. I've given you number 2 as well. Number 2. So here we go. Small hand is at 4. Big hand is at 9. So it's, it is 4.45. So that's number 2. Okay, do number 3 and number 4 by yourself. And last activity, activity D. Oh my God. So what I need you to, you to do is write the missing words, okay? You need to write the missing words by looking at the clock. Okay, so the question, what time is it? What time is it? What is the time? What time is it? Then you answer, you say, it is, it's. Then you say the time, the hour, and then the minutes. What time is it? It's 7.15. Okay, so let's do act let's do number two. What time? Mm -mm. What time? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? It's twelve. Yeah, it's twelve. Now we need the minutes. So we look at the big hand. And the big hand is at six. So if the big hand is at six, how many minutes is that? That's right, it's thirty. So you say it's 12.30. Oh, yes. Here it is. So what time is it? It's 12.30. Okay, now, then at number three, you say, what time is it? What time is it? Then you say, it's, it's, just like that. It is. And then you write the time. And this time would be 10 45 10 45 but you hopefully you forget that i said that if you want to do it by yourself and not get help anyway guys that is us all finished for today hope you guys are okay with the workbook it's not too difficult but quickly let's go over our lesson remember big hand is the minutes small hand is the hours time is just hours plus minutes remember there are 12 hours and there are 60 minutes. And remember, if it's zero minutes, which means the big hand is up at 12, if it's zero minutes, then you don't say zero minutes, you say o'clock, okay? Like this one, nine, zero minutes, you say nine o'clock, okay? Nine o'clock. Anyway, guys, that's us all done for today. Hopefully you're okay with the workbook. Hopefully you're okay with Unit 5 so far. I'll see you in the Google Meet soon and we'll practice this. I'm sure it'll be all fine if you're struggling. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to study, study, study and speak English every day on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and even on Sunday. Speak a little bit of English, please. Okay, guys, thank you so much.